In this brief video, I'm going to show you what is a t-test, how to calculate a t-value, and how to calculate a t-test. Let's say you're running a study to find out if drinking tea can lead to weight loss. You might split participants into two groups. Group one drinks tea and group two drinks water. At the end of the study, you weigh everybody, get the results, and now you want to find out if the tea actually led to weight loss. Well, the t-test allows you to compare your results and conclude one way or another whether the t probably led to some weight loss. In order to calculate a t-value for the test, we need a couple of pieces of information. We're going to be comparing means, so we need the mean from group 1. I'm going to call that x bar 1. And the mean from group 2. Let's call that x bar 2. The second piece of information we need is the variance for each group. That's a measure of spread or how far the data points are spread out within each group. My variance is S squared uh, for group one. I'll just put a sub one and my variance for group two will do sub two. Exactly what the T value formula looks like is going to differ depending on whether you have one group, two groups, whether those groups are independent or dependent. For this particular example, we have two groups and they are independent. So our formula is going to be the absolute value of mean 1 minus mean 2 all over the square root of standard deviation and n is the number of items in the sample. Now the formula looks a little ugly, but let's break it down into parts. You can use any calculator. I'm going to use Excel. Column B has the results from my tea drinkers. Column C is my water drinkers in pounds lost. It looks to me like the tea drinkers lost more weight, but I can't tell for sure. So I'm going to figure out my tea value and run the tea test. So for my formula, I need the mean for each sample and I also need the variance so for my tea drinkers, there's my mean or average. And I also want to find the average for the water drinkers. Now my two variances, my first sample. And the water drinkers. I also need the number of items in each sample Looks like there's 13. If you work through the formula, you will get a T value of 1.23. Let me show you a much easier way. In Excel, click the data analysis tab. I'm going to select a T test. I'm going to assume the variances are equal. If you know for sure they're not equal, you can run a separate test, but my variable range, I'm just going to select the data. And for my output range, I'm just going to say I want the output to start in column E1. And there's my T value. In a few seconds, I've also got my mean, my variance, and the number of observations. You'll also notice that here's my P value. It's quite a large P value, so it actually looks like there's not a lot of difference between drinking tea and water. So for this experiment, I can't conclude there is a significant difference between drinking tea or water to lose weight. I cover what is a P value and hypothesis testing in my other YouTube videos. Thanks for checking in. I'll see you in the next video.